Hello and welcome. My name's Campbell. This is Spiral Up. Thank you for being here. I hope you've had a fantastic day. And I wanted to talk about the war that's going on because there is a real war going on. And uh, you know, like we've heard before, it's a war for your mind, Neo. So let's talk. for your mind uh, i mean we have heard the terms fake news and all you know all these you know gaslighting all these terms these you know, new terms um being thrown around a lot in the last you know two years year and a half and i mean it's basically all true because what's going on i mean we know right the, new, the mainstream news is definitely uh it's just a joke right and we you know and you know it was years ago too but What's happening now is people are just starting to see how ridiculous it is. And we're being shown because the veil is being lifted. But what they're trying to do, and this is the big thing that we all need to be sort of aware of, is that everything they do, everything, all the stories, you know, it's all fear, right? You know, war in the Ukraine and all these different, you know, variants and blah, 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 and you know, global warming, global, <laughs> um, all this stuff. It's to get you scared, but but more than that, it's to tie you to their system. It's to tie you to their system and to make you believe that you have no control, uh, which is, of course, you know, the shape of the earth, right? Spinning out of control. Um, it It's confusing, right? Uh, that's where they want you to be, lost and, and spinning out of control. And so they want you to be tied to their system because they want... They want your soul. <laughs> this is what they want. And we can see what's going on. And, you know, what happened with the truckers, you know, just really emphasised everything, is that the stats they are giving us are completely just made up. They're false. They've got nothing to do with reality. When they, you know, you hear someone saying, oh, this percentage of the state or the country is, you know, jabbed, it's all BS. None of it is true. Now, this whole thing in, you know, the Ukraine with Russia, you know, I bet there's nothing there. I bet it's all just news. It's fake news. We've we've um, had reports of all of the arrests, right? People in New Zealand, in Canada, and Australia. There's um, you know, there's footage. There's footage of these people that were getting arrested. You know, then sort of just waltzing out because they're actors. They're not. They're not actually getting arrested. They take them around the corner, let them go, and they just walk out. And <laughs> it's all fake. This is like literally they've turned the world into their stage. And this is what they want to do. So I wanted to you know, make everyone aware of that, but we've got to understand that the, the system, right, um, that, that we all grew up with, that we were used to, that we thought was reality, it's gone. It, it ain't ever coming back. So if you're tied to anything in that system, you know, as far as be, uh, relying on it or having an obligation to it, then you're going to be stuck there. All these people who think they can go back to work and get, and get their job back. They, these are jobs in industries that, that will not exist in, in a couple of years. They won't exist. Now, all this, you know, the medical industry is done. The education system is done. The entertainment system is done. Media, done. Banking, done. Like, seriously, it's all, it's all, it's all done. It's, it's, last, um, it's from the last cycle. It's all Piscean. It doesn't have any relevance at all to where we are going. And so the more we focus on what they want us to focus on, which is all the stories, all the news, all the bits, all we hear, this new variant, that new variant, oh, my God, be scared of this. All, all of it, it's tying us to the system. And like I said, that system is, it's, it's gone already. You know, it's it, the... You know, what we see is an illusion. It's an illusion that it, that it's there at all. Like there's there's no there's no there's, there's nothing, no wealth left in um, you know the financial system. There's nothing there. It, it's all crumbling, and all they want us to do is 
believe that it's not, that things will go back to normal because they want you tied to their system where they control you. Okay, but we're going to a new earth. Well, I'm going to a new earth and I hope you are all too. Um, because the thing is, it's, it's, it's our focus, right? Where attention goes, energy flows. Uh, so if we're focusing on the past and the system, that, that's where we're, we're attached to. But if we're focusing, focusing on a new future, a new earth and what we can build and what value we can give, then we are in the right place. And at the moment, you know, doing this may, you know, be hard, right? Uh, maybe not, it may not even be a good financial decision at the moment, right? But, but we've got to think differently. It's a new earth. We've got to think differently to create something different. If we keep going along like, oh, you know, an, an hour equals, you know, whatever, right? 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, whatever, 100 bucks. If that's what we're looking at, then, then we're stuck again in the system because we're never going to do anything new. When you create things new, you pretty much have to do them for free, right? Uh, and until they start turning a profit, until they can start supporting you in whatever way that is. You know, it doesn't have to be money. Um, it, it can be whatever. But this is the thing. We need to get out there and create systems that are going to replace all the systems that have crumbled. We need a new education system or, uh, you know, uh, it shouldn't even be called education. We need a new system to teach our children how to think critically, how to, you know, um, think, what do they say? Um, tell children, teach them how to think, not what to think. You know, we need to do that. The, the medical system, we need a completely new, based on natural remedies at work. Um, you know, we need a whole new system. You know, everything, banking, we need, we need a new way to trade. We need all these things. So... This is, you know, you, you can look at this two, two ways. You can look at it as, oh, my God, this is so bad. Oh, you know, and be tired, right? Another, another variant. Oh, my God, another whatever. Or you can go, wow, look at this. Everything's collapsed. So I can, I can be a part of whatever I want now. Whatever industry, whatever you want to do, you can be a part of now. You just have to do it. Right? No one's going to do it for you. And, and if you wait around, you know, for someone else to do it, it's not going to happen. And you now the hard truth is, and, and this was hard for me to learn too, is you've got to understand that you may not find people who are into your idea. You know, for you will find them eventually, but but it may be a year or two, like seriously. And you know, if if you can't go through that on your own and keep building on your own, you know, um, without the support of the outside world, um, you may have problems. So, so this is things that we need to focus on. You know, we need to, this is all about sovereignty as well and standing in our power. And by the way, we're all going to get powers. Um, they're coming too, right? They're already starting to manifest. But, but this is all about what we want to build, what we want to be a part of, what we want to create. You know, again, it's like, what do you want to tell your grandchildren? You know, in the, in the great change, in the apocalypse, what did you do? Oh, I just ran around and, and, and tried to get my old job back. <laughs> Uh, you know, I mean, you know, this is a thing. I started, you know, I was one of the foundation members of, you know, the new whatever, right? The new mystery schools, the new system of teaching children how to think, the new health system, the new trade system, the new system of, you know, how to grow foods and permaculture, all these things. Because another thing is we have all the answers already. We've had them probably all along, but we've definitely had them all you know, for the last, God, at least 40 years, 50 years. We've got them all. We've got, you know, permaculture for gardening. We've got all this stuff. We know how to, you know, that there's towers that, that can literally suck water out of the air in deserts and things. You know, we've got free energy. You know, we've got all this stuff. And we know how to work with the world and with nature. You know, we know this already. And this is where we need to start with what we know. And as we go forward, we'll know more. We'll learn more, right? And we'll get better. And we don't have to know how to do something. We just have to know what we want to do and then start anyway. You know, and as I said, if we're going to be looking around for other people to support us and to join us and to help us, 
stuck in the water. You know, this is the thing. Again, that's looking outside you. So this has all got to do with who you are and inner power. What do you want to be? What are you here for? What do you want to be remembered for? How do you want to, you know, how do you want your grandchildren and your children to see you? How do you want to inspire them and other people? How do you want to, how do you want to remember your life when, you know, you're, you're close to your last breath? These, you know, these are things that, that we should think about because in the old system, the old world, you know, we didn't, right? Everyone was just running around in circles doing things that they didn't want to do, um, you know, because they thought they had to. They thought that was all there was. You know, going to work for 40 years so you could buy a house that, you know, you only really needed because it was close to work. And then, you know, you spend all your time getting all this stuff, trying to beat the Joneses, right? And you end up in debt and you, then you've got to work more and then you can't retire early. That's all gone. That, that, but that's a choice, you know, because the way I see it, some people are going there. I mean, clearly, look around. And, and it's, I'm not talking to you guys, but look around at the people in the street that are wearing, you know, the, the oxygen preventers on their face. And, you know, especially the ones that have taken the, you know, the, the jabby jab jab, um, Bill's prick, um, and, and all the, the boosters. I mean, well, you know, they, they, can't, they can't possibly be in the new earth. They're, they're not mentally ready. They're not um, energetically ready. They're not on the, on the right frequency. So, you know, keep that in mind too. I think that they're going somewhere or they're staying here maybe and we're, we're going up to a, a higher frequency, which is probably what's going to happen and all that means is it's going to be in the same physical space. We'll just be in a higher frequency. So all these other people will they'll disappear to, to us. Like they'll cease, we, we won't be able to see them anymore because they'll be too dense. And they won't be able to see us because we'll be too light. You know, we'll be vibrating too high. Um, you know, it's, it's all wavelength. And so once we jump up, that's, you know, it's a frequency thing. We'll be here in the same space, but we won't see them. And I think this, you know, that might be, you know, what ghosts and things are, you know, people on different frequencies that, that we, you know, they might rise it for a bit or whatever, and we see them for a little bit and we think they're a ghost. Because I think everything's happening here right now, just all on different frequencies. So keep that in mind. It's a choice. It's a choice. You, you can go along, what it, you know, what do they say? You can go along to get along, right? You can be like, oh, but I just need to pay the bills. I just need to do this this week. You know, you can do that. And that's your choice. That's your choice. If, if you feel you want to do that, then, then do it. But my advice is to think, you know, ex extrapolate. <laughs> extrapolate that thought, you know, um, throw it forward. What are, the, what are the outcomes of that, you know, um, that action going to be? If you do this... What's, what, you know, what, what might that make happen to you and your experience in the next one to five years? You know, we've got to be smarter. So if, if we're thinking like that, then, you know, getting in and building something that's real, something that's, that's the new earth, new industries, new ways to do things. Like I said, it might be hard and, and you know, um, unrewarding, you know, wealth-wise for a while, but it, you know, it's going to be the future. It will you know, put you in good stead. And in a way, I, I think it's a test because uh, I believe that, you know, we need to deserve things. There's all this talk about, you know, how to, how to manifest and the law of attraction and blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, and as a side note, how many people have you met who have actually, you know, who, who do that, who can do that on a regular basis? You know, um, definitely sells a lot of books, but the... The problem I see is they're not worthy. I mean, the, the, the first big problem is people don't know what they want. They really don't. They think they want a car or money, but that's not what they want. But the, the second thing is people, you know, we've been given this idea that you just need to sit there and think about something and believe it and feel it. And you do. You need to you know, build that movie in your mind, but then you need to take action and enough action to make sure you deserve it. You know, because doing the, the um, visualization and the energy and the feeling that will start to attract things, but, but they will almost be like, you know, lessons, right? Are, are you strong enough? Are you going to give up? Or are you going to keep going? Uh, because obviously, you know, if you give up, then, then you're not worthy. You're not, you're not going to be the person that, you know, the universe, God spirit wants to do that job is basically it. Right. 
you won't be good enough. You won't be prepared. So we all need to deserve what we want. You know, we need to, and, that, and that means putting work in and, and being uncomfortable. And But I mean, it's what it really is, is just working out different ways to do things. You'll just be thrown up what looks like an obstacle, but it's really just a challenge. It's all it is. How, how, you know, it's not, can I get over this? It's how do I get over it? It's just a little change in thinking. And then if we do that, we can go forward. We can build things, you know, nothing can stop us, right? That the system then has no power. And this is the other thing. If we create our new systems and we don't rely on, on the old one, the old system, Babylon, that then they've got nothing, right? They've got no hold on us. If we don't need their currency for trading, if we don't need their food, if we don't need their water, if we don't need their electricity, their energy, what have they got? What have they got? You know, and so this is obviously why a lot of people are building communities at the moment, because you know, self-sufficient communities, when you think about it, how much do you need? You know, we've been given, you know, this story of, oh, you need all this stuff, you know, fridge, freezer, blenders, coffee machines, blah, 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 couches, cars, and you've got to have holidays too, you've got to travel. You know, it's not normal to stay in the same place. What do you mean? But I mean, I think that could just be a story. And again, I'm not telling you not to travel. I'm just saying that, you know, the world that was shown to us, the program, um, you know, it was built, it was almost like an obligation. It was built in. So, you know, if you don't want to do that, don't do it. If you want to do it, do it. But I think we all need, you know, we need to start being tied to the land again. You know, we, we need to know our place. You know, we need to have a home. Um, so traveling is awesome, but I think we all need a home base first and a self-sufficient home base where, you know, where, all, you know, everyone can work a couple of hours a day and that's, then they get, they have all they need. And if that happens, then people have time to create new things and to think and to wonder and to be in awe and ultimately to get inspiration and to build new things, create, because we are the creators and the create the creation so that's what i wanted to say guys is we're there right there is a battle and it's a battle for your mind and this is how it works they are trying to tie you to the old system it's literally like a string i did a chat with jck where we talked about this an obligation and how obligation ties you to things and ties you to things in the old system and this is the same it's everything and it really is all of it Half, you know, half it's obligation, but the other half is we believe that's the only option. So we need to understand we have many options. We are creators. So let's go forward. So let's go forward and create the new earth together. Because we can do it and it's going to be amazing. And it's going to be amazing. So thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you got something from that. Please give me a like, a share, subscribe if you haven't. Um, and yeah, share this, share this around if you um, think that the information will help other people. I would very much appreciate it. And of course, thank you to everyone who supports me you know, and all my channels. I really do appreciate you in whichever way you can. Um, and guys, Time is now, let's go forward, let's do this. Uh, if you haven't watched Tartaria Australia, which is on my autodidactic one, one channel, the main channel, go and check that out because that's where most of this work of building the new earth is happening at the moment, you know, as far as I'm, you know, as far as I'm inputting. Um, and let's do it. So thanks again, have a magnificent day. Love you all and I'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now. Thank you.